on that, since you just mentioned Cyprus, that's the reason to move over to George Grisochos, our next speaker, and he is a director of Cyfield Group of Companies. He has been involved with the family business from a very young age, serving in all sectors of the business. Before joining the family business full-time, he had worked in the United States and Greece as a consultant for Navigant and McKinsey and Company. He gained experience in multiple functions, including mergers and acquisitions and organizational structuring. He had a diverse involvement in industrial, energy, infrastructure, telecom, pharmaceutical, and financial companies. While working as a consultant, he had day-to-day -day involvement with Cyfield, participating in key strategic and operational decisions. He returned to Cyprus with a vision to expand the family business into a regional civil and EPC contractor and enter the energy market. He currently leads the contracting, manufacturing and energy companies of the group. George, the stage is yours. Uh, thank you very much, Urs, for this uh, detailed, I would say, uh, analysis of my life. I did not expect this to come. <laughs> I, I thought we sent you a more related uh, biography, but that's fine. Uh, so yes, I am going to talk about Cyprus today. So should I share the screen immediately? Uh, you are muted, Urs. Yes, please go ahead and share your slides. Okay. So uh, this presentation, I'm going to talk about a lot of things. So uh, I will ask you to be patient with me. Of course, I will skip a lot of information that uh, will bore you. But in some cases, I might tell you that it would be suitable to take a screenshot maybe uh, because this is information where is the most useful. Uh, of course, you can contact us at the end and we will send you any supporting materials regarding all of the things I'm going to discuss. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because we have, uh, as a company, we are very diverse in what we, are, we offer. So I'm going to cover a lot of topics. Uh, but first, I would like to talk a little bit about Cyprus, uh, inform you about any new developments about Cyprus and the virus and the recovery. And then, of course, we're going to deep dive into what we can offer uh, to the investors. So first of all, uh, you know where Cyprus is, um, it's redundant to talk about it. Now the advantages are well known about Cyprus. Um, apart from all these things uh, regarding the coronavirus, the government has handled it very well. We are now having almost zero cases every day. We're talking about two to three cases. Uh, we have lifted the heavy measures of the lockdown last week, and now the markets are opening again. Construction is up. Uh, is back to work. So therefore, the future is very promising and Cyprus has never been safer, safer to uh, invest. And there has been also a recent report from a French insurance company exactly saying uh, that Cyprus indeed is uh, one of the safest countries in the world. So the traditional things that make Cyprus an excellent destination, um, it's a very attractive tax regime. They positive economic outlook, as I said, the regulatory structure, global mobility, and the high quality of life. A few deep dives. Um, our corporate tax rate is the lowest in Europe, 12.5%. Uh, we have the non-DOM uh, law, which if you're not a domicile sector, you don't pay any dividends tax. We don't have inheritance tax. And of course, we have double tax treaty with Russia and many other CIS countries. Uh, yes, this GDP growth, of course, was uh, estimated just before the pandemic. Uh, we are not going to have a, slow, a much slowdown uh, as Europe will have. They are estimating about a minus 3 to 4% in Cyprus. Uh, unemployment has been kept at very good rate because of the government measures. So we are looking at the future very positively. If there is one great thing that the British has done to Cyprus uh, when we were a colony, is it to implement the British common law, uh, which for me, I think is the best legal system in the, in the, on the planet. So uh, it's very simple, very straightforward case system, very, very little bureaucracy and very easy to do business in Cyprus. 
of course, we are mem full members of the EU. Uh, we, you can have visa-free travel to 170 countries, and you can live, study, go to uh, like health, take healthcare. You can do any work, you can do anything in the European Union and everywhere around the world. We find open borders everywhere. But the most important thing about Cyprus, uh, talking as a Cypriot national, uh, is the way of life. It's the quality of life of Cypriots. Uh, there is no crime, very little crime. People are very uh, welcoming here. We speak many, many languages. Uh, we have a great lifestyle. So uh, very good educational system, very good healthcare system, which was tested and proven during the pandemic. We had one of the lowest death rates of the coronavirus in the world in Cyprus. So all these things show how, how great the destination is. Now, uh, shifting to Seifield, um, so we are doing a lot of things uh, as a group. We have four main segments. We have the uh, uh, land development real estate, which I'm gonna talk at the beginning of the presentation. We have the manufacturing and trading department, which supports all the construction activities. And of course, with the latest engagement that we have is the energy generation. And we are now constructing a 260 megawatt gas fire power plant in Cyprus, which I'm going to talk at the end, uh, another very attractive investment destination. Uh, we have one of the largest developers and contractors on the island. We have 245 million contracting projects in Cyprus alone. We operate in Greece and Egypt and Oman in the Middle East in general as well. But because I'm focusing on Cyprus today, I'm going to focus on Cyprus numbers. Um, and uh, I will explain to you why we're different. Everybody, I'm sure, in this conference is tired of seeing Cyprus developers. Uh, we are flooding the conferences, the exhibitions. We are everywhere. We have a strong presence. Uh, the question I always get is, why is, Cy is Cypher different than other developers? Well, it's very simple. Uh, we, are, we deliver what we promise, and, and that's a reality. And the market can... Uh, justify this and you can ask around, but I'm also going to show you later on why. Uh, the fact that we're a construction company means that we are fully uh, integrated and, and vertically and diversified. Therefore, we don't depend on any activities from any outside people. For example, we design, we construct, we finance, we sell our own properties. So therefore, we, we, we control the time, the quality. On the other hand, we are one of the largest developers that sell to local people. We, we, by building and selling to local areas, that means that our properties are sustainable, they are very good returns, and they're long-term, and they don't have too many price fluctuations. So how do you do that? We always invest in heavy urban areas. Uh, a good example is Nicosia, the capital of Cyprus, which also holds half of the population of Cyprus. What we did in Nicosia, we, we, we built the, the first and only high-rise tower in the, in the, in the city. Uh, it's a 34-story building, almost completed. This is an actual picture. What you see now is an actual picture. The scaffolding is coming down. Building will be fully completed in one month. There are already about 30 apartments uh, which are uh, with people that live inside, including myself. This is where my home is. And this is where a beautiful view of Nicosia. You see how unique this building is? where there is no other high rise in the downtown of Nicosia. Uh, this is a few pictures of day and uh, night. Uh, this is uh, our gym in the building, of course, the common areas. Again, this is the lobby. As you can, these are not renderings, this is actual pictures. So, um, of course, this is an apartment. We also encourage art. Uh, our building has been attracted by many artists to do live shows. Uh, there is a piano player, of course, some DJs they did some live sets on the top of the building because, again, it's a, it's a unique building, right? It's unique for everyone. It's a landmark, right? Um, and you know very well in real estate that whatever is a landmark, whatever is unique, never loses value. So it's very important investment-wise. Um, so as I said, uh, it, it takes advantage of the high residential demand in Nicosia. Our tenants and buyers are... Um, fund managers, businessmen, ambassadors, people from embassies are renting in the building. We have uh, the financial sector who is based in Ecosia using the building, insurance sector. Uh, we have in, in Ecosia also have government people, high-rise government people. So again, we're not depending on 
outsiders. We're not depending so much on uh, on vacation home buyers. Therefore, that's why we get a very, very good and stable demand in this tower. And in general, in Ecosia, uh, it's, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Some of our clients are enjoying 7% yield on their rent because the prices here are one third of the prices in Limassol. But the people who are living inside are the people who are looking for premium quality of life and safety. So they're always choosing this building. Of course, as a company that we have everything, as I said at the beginning, uh, we, we develop in vacation homes close to coastal areas. We also have the sun and beach theme. This is another completed tower. Again, I emphasize the word completed because it means it does not have any risk. Right now, the construction industry in Cyprus is so overheated that we see huge delays in many projects around the country. Uh, some projects are taking five to 10 years to complete. And all the uh, buyers are screaming and yelling and fighting with the owner, with the, with the developers. But again, this is a finished project. This is our high rise. It's a first line to the beach in Limassol. We ha still have a very, very few units left. Again, we are seeing great demand. A few days ago, we received uh, a request for 15,000 euros per month rent. So strictly talking numbers, this again is a very unique building. Of course, you can see how beautiful it is. Limassol is indeed a very beautiful town in Cyprus. This is the views of the balconies. As you see, many towers under construction in the distance, but ours is the only one that is completed. Beautiful views again with the sunset in Limassol. Again, all these are real pictures, not renderings. Of course, we also develop in Larnaca, another coastal city in Cyprus. We all, again, offer the sun and beach concept. Larnaca is a very good destination because it is much, much cheaper than Limassol. Uh, the price is here are one fourth of Limassol. Uh, to, and we have this beautiful tower overlooking the, the, the Larnaca town, very 200 meters from the sea at the most popular area, which is Mackenzie. It has a swimming pool on top. I, this is the completed tower from below. Uh, these are the views in the balcony. All this area, nothing stops the view to the beach. And this is also the, uh, the swimming pool. Again, some nice photos. As I said, it's ideal for someone who wants to come to Cyprus for vacations, apart from investing uh, in the real estate market. Now, uh, the in latest, because also of the coronavirus, as I said, people are looking and focusing on safe investments. Uh, in Cyprus, we are seeing a decline in the demand for exclusive high-end properties, which are uh, dedicated only to foreigners and mainly the citizenship by investment program, uh, such as marinas, golf resorts, and all these beautiful areas. However, people are looking for safe, safe, Save investments is the best way to protect the wealth right, uh, of high net worth individuals uh, in, during times like this. Um, and people are deciding to small buildings like these ones I'm showing in the picture, residential blocks in Limassol, Nicosia, Lanaka, in very dense urban areas where it's a more diversified investment. More units means that you can exit easier, right? Um, and so these buildings are in big demand to buy as a whole. And usually this belongs to SPVs, so you also save on taxes. Of course, we also develop in Athens, in the Athens Riviera, close to the sea in the farther area, south in Athens. Um, these beautiful projects. These are city center projects. We have lots and lots of properties in Greece. And please do not hesitate us to contact us if you need any more information about everything I'm showing. I am rushing a bit because I have a lot to cover. So excuse, excuse me for that. Uh, of course, we are offering and support for all three uh, immigration programs. As uh, we heard earlier from CS Partners, it has never been more important to own a second nationality for the security and the protection of, your, of the investors' family and their businesses. Cyprus is one of the best programs in the world. I don't need to explain that to you. Of course, everybody knows by now. Uh, and we are offering full support since we have great experience with the program. Uh, and we can offer you a 10 key solution. Now, my next topic, which is what I want to focus a little bit more, since it's what, again, diversifies us from other people, to make what makes us different from other people. Uh, we have established two alternative investment funds. 
Funds are lately a very, very uh, attractive tool for safe investments because they have a, a, a dividend payout and they have an exit policy. The greatest thing about funds is that you invest for five, six, 10 years, you make good returns, and then after, whenever you are done with it, you can redeem your shares. You can get back your money. I, I know it sounds great, and it is great. <laughs> Therefore, um, we have established two of them, one in the energy market, one for the energy investments, and one for the commercial real estate. So first of all, I'm going to glance quickly through the uh, office of the investment fund, which is our commercial properties. Uh, this is an informative slide. It's an overview. You can feel free to take a screenshot of that. I have this teaser and this information memorandum as a, as a whole uh, presentation. So if anyone wants it, I can send it to you later, later on. It's not, not an issue. Uh, the minimum uh, subscription amount is half a million, and of course, with two million, you can qualify for the immigration, the citizenship by, for the citizenship by investment program. Um, and it's a limited, it, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a limited number of persons fund, which means only 25 shareholders will be engaged. So uh, what we did is we selected uh, some offices. Our portfolio has about 120 million euro value of office and commercial real estate with long-term contracts, very safe tenants. And we put them together to create a fund so we can offer this solution to investors who care about not losing their money. Uh, this is some just Cyprus KPIs. I don't need to go over them since they were before the coronavirus. What is important to look at down here that the Nicosia office space has had way more increase in demand than Cyprus in general. And that's because it's a seat of the government, the financial center, the university center. So therefore the demand, the, there are way, way more businesses in Nicosia uh, as it's the business hub. Therefore, all our commercial properties, I emphasize commercial properties are based in the capital, which makes it even more safe. What we have, we have, for example, RCB Bank as a tenant. We have PWC headquarters in Cyprus. They, uh, we are, we are their landowners. Gordian Holdings is a fund of uh, Apollo Fund. It's a subsidiary of the Apollo, the huge gigantic fund. The government of Cyprus itself. So you understand, these are very, very solid and strong uh, tenants. Again, uh, these are in Nicosia. Of course, here there are some. Uh, um, numbers about the fund what i really need to show you is here you can see the returns the returns will fluctuate from uh 4.5 percent the minimum to 6.74 percent depending on how the market goes so you understand uh, how safe and attractive the returns are again some numbers okay and here again you can see the benchmarks that the fund needs to raise in order to reach the maximum which is 52.9 million as i said 25 investors 2 million each it's about 50 million and the estimated five year return on equity is seven is 5.27 percent all these numbers are accredited and justified by pwc who is the administrator of the fund and this is the fund structure Again, some information calculating the app. And here is the process. So we have a six a six month period for onboarding the investments. And then there is a six year lockup period. The reason we have six years is because the citizenship by investment program requires the fund to have a lockup period of six years in order for it to qualify for the uh, citizenship program. And then after the six years, the investor can redeem their shares. Uh, which is the most important thing about uh, this whole principle. Of course, uh, as I said earlier, uh, we have another uh, investment fund. Again, extremely attractive and extremely unique. Why is it unique? Because it's the only project in Cyprus, the first and only private power producer of electricity in Cyprus with, uh, with conventional fuels, uh, with natural gas. Uh, the, the monopoly in Cyprus is opening, the, uh, the, market, the market is opening, therefore we are the first entrance to take advantage of it. Here are some pictures, of course, uh, we are engaged in the renewable sector for a lot of time, but now we're moving also to natural gas fire power plants. 
On the top left, you can see a picture of the inauguration stone ceremony. The second person from the left is the president of the Republic. The middle person is my father. And of course, on the right, you can see me. Now, why are we doing this investment? Um, there are three reasons why uh, this is a great project. First of all, is the regulatory regime, the demand side mechanics, and the supply side mechanics. Uh, the EU directive is very clear and very strong about the market opening. They are, uh, they are trying and promoting investors like uh, us to join the market, and uh, they're rewarding us with uh, a lot of regulatory changes that will benefit us. One of them is a 20% uh, compulsory uh, buyout from the incumbent, Electricity Authority of Cyprus, from private producers. So this gives a, a guaranteed offtake. In other words, it guarantees the sale of the power plant for 50% of its production making a very safe investment. This is the demand uh, of, of the electricity in Cyprus as projected by the, the transmission system operator, which is the market uh, operator in Cyprus. Right now we are about 1200 uh, uh, megawatts, the capacity. And as you can see, 2017, we're gonna reach 1500 megawatts. So there is a gap in the market we need to be filled. So our investment is not just a great investment, it's a necessary investment, right? Renewable penetration in the market is only 13%. Uh, the reason is because we are an isolated country, a small island, so we cannot really uh, import or export electricity. Therefore, it's difficult for us to have high renewables. Now, the, the third reason why it's a great investment is because our efficiency, since we have very modern machines, will be 57% compared to 48 of the of the government uh, best machines and 36% for the uh, overall average efficiency of the of the system. This means that we will be 60% cheaper in the production of electricity than the government, than the government utility. You understand how profitable this will be. Uh, and here are some numbers to show how inefficient the uh, Electricity Authority of Cyprus is. Uh, it costs them about 100 euros just for, to run with diesel. And lastly, they uh, in, in 2024, uh, the, first power, the first power station in Cyprus, which was built about 50 years ago, will be decommissioned, 60, sorry, 70 years ago. Therefore, it will leave another big gap in the market, making, again, a very necessary investment. So uh, what are, how are we investing in this fund? As I said uh, earlier, uh, we will be the uh, managers of the fund. There is a six year lockup period. So anyone who invests now, because the power plant has just started construction, we will guarantee a 4% uh, return on the investment yield, a coupon basically. And at year five, after two years of operation of the power plant, these shares will be converted in these units, these preferred shares or coupons will be converted to equity, to normal equity. Uh, the evaluation, of course, will be at the time of the conversion. So 4% uh, until year six is what we estimate to be the return. And then after they are converted to equities, uh, the return on the investors, we expect it to be between eight and 10%. So if someone invests 2 million today, on year six, they have the option either to redeem, get their money and go away and have a passport in their hand. Or if they are more institutional or passive investors, remember, we're not only looking to passport investors in this case, uh, they will stay in the fund, their equities will be converted and they will be making 10% return. So you understand how, why uh, the funds are very attractive and why our company is different than everybody else. Sorry for being a bit fast and covering a lot of topics. Um, please, uh, you can also screenshot my contacts. I even have my mobile number there in case anyone wants to call me directly and my email. Uh, and I will be very happy to answer questions right now. Uh, so feel free. Thank you very much.